Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sherry Elise here, and I am back with another video of empties. This has been basically my quarantine favorite thing to do besides shopping for things that I do need because who isn't treating themselves during quarantine? Um, I hope that you guys are well. Um, if you are new here, my name is Sherry Alicia. I have changed my channel more towards lifestyle. I started at beauty and I randomly post because I have a job outside of this. This is my favorite hobby to do, which is talking on camera about things that I love because I love spending my money on things that make me feel good like beauty and products. I'm a consumer, so consumer. Um, let's jump into my empty so I can talk about what I liked and what I didn't like and what would I repurchase. So the first thing we have is this Rejuvicare Enhanced Beauty Natural Pseudo Goals Collagen Beauty Formula Liquid Collagen Complex Healthy Hair Skin and Nails with Amino Acid Protein and Biotin. Delicious great flavor. Okay, okay, my thoughts are this. Fuck me. It just freaking leaked on my new pajama set. I need a new Tide pen. We're, this is the, one of the reasons why I probably won't purchase this again. From probably a little less than $10 on Amazon. I really wanted something um, that I could digest because that's becoming more popular. So I was just curious about the trend of like collagen outside of pills and Botox and stuff like that to keep yourself youthful. I feel that it helped with my hair. I would say that my skin is slightly plump, but it did absolutely nothing for my nails. And that is the hunt that I'm on. I'm on all vitamins that are good for me. I think at this point for my nails to grow, I probably just need to eat more leafy greens um, and moisturize them more often. This isn't a product that I would I would suggest purchasing and I'm not gonna buy it again just because the grape flavor really got taxing. Like it had this aftertaste and I always wanted you to take it before you went to sleep. So I was doing it after I brushed my teeth and then I stopped that and did it right before I brushed my teeth and I had better results even though I still have that grape flavor. It's very pungent. The grape is super artificial and it doesn't taste great at all. I probably want to take this in a powder form. I'm probably going to Google that sometime after I'm done recording this video. Um, a powder or pill form from this company I would say would work if there was um, more of something like I... I happy with my skin but I'm also up to taking care of my skin um, one of the things that it supports is the elasticity I feel like I definitely got a plumpness to it but I could always be more I talked about this in my Target haul probably like two months ago this smells amazing it's the chronic pain and fatigue body soak arnica Epsom salt um, I don't know why you need flaxseed oil and certain things. I'm fine with just good old sea salt, Epsom salt. I really enjoyed this. I just have the issue of like, my beef and tin is, it's easy to run out of this very quickly um, for the same price that you could get Dr. Teal's and other store like brand name ones. So um, I wish this was like in a bigger bag, but this is really nice. I would repurchase this again and again and again. I hope that somebody sponsors me so they can send me a gigantic bag because it smells mm, divine. It has arnica, ginger, blueberry, D ribose, flax oil, flaxseed oil, and Epsom salt. And I take probably a bath once a week or every other week so I'm a bath head I want to incorporate more baths but sometimes you just want to get in and get out yes. during quarantine my roommates were gone and I just randomly my nails were breaking so bad and I was telling my roommate man she's like why don't you eat these and these collagen pills that I have I was like, okay so then I ended up started taking her so I'm like I can't just take somebody's shit and not replace it so I went to replace it I have a love hate for them because I definitely feel healthier because I don't have to help with like brain development because of the omega fatty acids Fish oil should definitely be in your diet, plain and simple. But gummies are starting to get exhausting from the super fructose in there. I think after I tried a organic gummy, like just a regular, not even just a vitamin, a regular organic gummy, I know the difference, like with pectin and the juices and stuff like this. And this is, says it's not artificial, but this is not something that I'd recommend anybody to purchase. Um, it's super sweet and then it has the dust on it, which is like a sour patch. It was too much like for someone who just cannot, for some people who just cannot digest pills, I understand why this exists on the market. You just need to get your vitamins. But if somebody is, I'm getting older. You know, things are not going to always be juicy and plush like I want them to be. And so I have to just cough up the feeling of just popping the pill, which I have no issue with. But sometimes I do like gummies and I just purchase a new perk. 
But this brand, Nature Made, is super hit or miss for me. Um, I don't always love everything that they come out with. This is just like, I, don't, I mean, I feel like I'm a very intelligent person, so I can't really tell you if this really worked for se. Istanbul Cool Black Elderberry Gummies with Vitamin C and Zinc, um, 1.7 grams. I have been taking Elderberry for over a year now. And it's been a year since I've gotten sick. Um, praise the Lord. Amen. But, I think everyone should get this. I know this was a craze during the quarantine beginning, like how to get to your vitamins. And building your immune system should happen every day. It's just like how much your doctor pushes for exercising and drinking water and not eating too much sugar and flossing. Immune system boosting is like probably my highest priority because I don't digest vitamin C very well um, so this is the alternative even though there is vitamin C I don't think it's as high yeah it's only 45 milligrams where, where there's a higher percentage of elderberry and zinc and zinc is really good for me for my allergies and just keeping everything at bay um, I do like the efficiency or efficacy of this elderberry but I don't like this brand it's so hard to chew and a lot of these gummies you have to you gotta really get in there. You gotta chomp that bitch out before you swallow. And like, I blame everything on me being a New, a New Yorker. <laughs> I gotta go. I have to go. The Valerian Gaia Herbs supports restful sleep. So Valerian Root helps with sleep. Um, <laughs> the funny thing of how I got this is I have a friend <laughs> who worked at Whole Foods and people were returning stuff and she let me have things. You know, when you're friends with the hippies, it gets a little strange with some change. And I was really interested in Valerian Root because sometimes I have trouble sleeping and I like natural ways. This shit is no joke. This is no joke. I prefer the tea because I feel like the Valerian knocks me. For me particularly because herbs and tinctures and stuff like that will, will affect your body differently. I on the other hand respond a little strange to things that are meant to put me to sleep i need something a little bit more softer so like i like that this is an option because sometimes you just want to pop pop a pill because you don't want to have a tea or pop, pop a zana whatever is your you know it's your world we just live in it everyone has ways to help them i hate melatonin but i found another option to help me sleep in days where i'm uncomfortable i just don't prefer the pill version of it i prefer a tea. I also have other options like catnip. I got a ray stuff which I'm going to talk about in another video but these like pills that are supposed I, it, and it was in a liquid form it's like I don't know how they made it it's just it was very strange I finished them but if ever a time that I might have smoked too much sativa and I got really fucking space astronaut high then I might pop that because I'm more when I was pop that because I'm like you gotta relax it's time to go to sleep <laughs> so i have something like that as an option i would not purchase that again i think that might have just been an old batch we've all been there with medication weight loss is a big thing for me and it's been for a long time but i've never really hated myself i just always knew there was just a little bit extra hard work that i need to do but i have definitely fallen into the craze of different forms of diet pills and we all know diet pills are terrible so i just want to say that as a disclaimer i was very curious my mommy looked at me like why the fuck are you buying that i have had the habit of being an instant gratified person and needing you know, I need instant results and trying to do things the fast way. And it's like you can't go around the boulder. You just have to say that I ended up purchasing this Spring Valley Adult Gummy Weight Management 400 micrograms. Um, it's for metabolism support. There's like 60 vegetarian like gummies in it. It wasn't the greatest. I realized almost too, a little too late into eating them that my stomach was always having this pain because it had um, apple cider vinegar. And I have mixed reviews about people who use apple cider vinegar to like jumpstart things. I think for stomach aches, uh, apple cider vinegar is pretty great to like just, you know, get your restore your stomach a little bit and then put your probiotics in it that's for another video but I don't think it's good for your pH down there to have things with apple cider vinegar all the time because sugar and you know yeast and all that that all ends up making its own science project in your body and there's always water 
there's always water. I would not recommend because I don't think anybody should be taking any diet pill, any diet products whatsoever. Um, I just, I'm very much curious. I'm definitely such a random shopper sometimes. And it's to my detriment that I did. I'm so happy that this didn't have a permanent effect on me. Didn't like, you know, do anything to me to disturb my na my body's natural chemistry. And so I'm, I'm very lucky and blessed for that. But I definitely feel like it used to make my stomach hurt. And as soon as I stopped taking it, I was like, okay, so much better because it was almost like it was trying to like expand or I don't know what the right words are but it was trying to do something that I wasn't fucking with and sometimes you just gotta listen to your body and and get rid of stuff and as always I am not a professional I am just a common roundaway girl from New York talking about my shit and so I'm always thankful you guys are here watching my channel supporting me liking sharing comments um, I love that I still get support even though I'm not as consistent as I would like to be but I do enjoy making videos for you guys so until next time I will see you again Bye. don't forget to did you subscribe